so now we will see class in javascript so guys basically javascript classes are templates for javascript objects and this we are going to check with the help of examples as well so guys basically ecmascript that was introduced in 2015 which is also known as es6 the introduction of javascript classes was done and before that we were using the functions in order to create the objects in javascript and this is the syntax as you can see we have the class keyword followed by the name of the class in this case and then inside the open and close curly braces we have the constructor which will help us in order to initialize the properties of the object so after the constructor keyword we have the open and close parenthesis and then inside the open and close curly braces we will have the list of object properties which will have their own values that we pass to this particular constructor so guys all this we are going to check with the help of examples as well it is important to note that we have to use the keyword class in order to create a class and always add a method that is named as constructor so guys let us check this with the help of example in vs code over here so simply we are going to create a new file so we have class.js file over here now guys what we will do is first of all before es6 how we used to create the objects let us check that as well so first of all we will create the objects with the help of the function over here so simply we will have person function in this case followed by open and close parenthesis and within these curly braces we are going to provide the properties so let's say we have the first name and the last name properties which needs to be passed to this particular person so we will pass the values of the first name and last name to this particular function over here which will be assigned to the first name and the last name properties of the object so simply we will have this dot first name it is equal to first name and then again we will have this dot last name it is equal to last name over here so guys what exactly we are doing is we are going to create the object that is person one over here it is equal to we will use the new operator followed by the name of the function that is person and then inside the open and close parenthesis we will provide the values of the first name and the last name of the person and those values will be assigned to these local variables which are nothing but the parameters to this particular function and then guys these values will be assigned to this first name and the last name properties of that particular object which we can access so guys this is the way we used to create the objects before es6 and then over here simply we can access the first name and the last name of the object over here first of all let us provide the values of the first name and the last name that is john doe in this case and then simply we are going to have the console.log statement over here and we will access the person one followed by dot and let us say we want to access the first name of this particular person one object let me just save this file now and try running this code on the terminal by using the node command over here and the name of the javascript file as you can see we are getting john as the first name over here apart from this we can also print the entire name that is the full name of the person so simply we will have person one dot last name as well in between we have provided the space separator over here let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so as you can see we are now getting john doe as the first name and last name of this particular object now guys how do we create the object by using the class so simply as you can see we are getting three dots over here below this person function so guys what it means is when we get the mouse cursor over here on these three dots as you can see this constructor function may be converted to a class declaration so guys basically this is a function that is a constructor function which helps us in order to create the object and it can be converted to the class declaration over here so guys let us check that as well how we can convert it so simply we can click on this quick fix over here on the vs code and when we click on it it says convert function to an es2015 class so guys basically we can convert this function to the class declaration that can help us in order to create the object which is one of the best ways in order to create javascript objects over here so when we click on this particular option as you can see now we have converted it into a class declaration it is using the class keyword followed by the name of the class that is person over here this time we are not having the open and close parenthesis because 
because those parentheses needs to be used only with the function names and then after that we have the open and close curly braces now guys it is very important to note that we have the constructor as well which is taking the values of the first name and the last name that are coming while we are initializing this particular object so note that we don't have any changes while we are creating the object and accessing them but the only changes over here in the class declaration this time we are having the constructor function inside which we are going to use this dot first name and assign the value of the first name and the last name respectively for those properties so when we save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal as you can see we are now getting john doe as the first name and last name so guys in this way simply you can create the classes as well so let us remove the entire code and retype it once again so that we get the practice of creating new classes declarations and using them in order to create the objects so guys before creating the class declarations and using them let us go through some important notes over here so basically the constructor method is a special method that we are going to create once again it has to have the exact name that is constructor so guys you cannot have the spelling mistakes over here you need to use the constructor keyword in order to create this particular special method apart from this it is executed automatically when a new object is created so guys we will check this as well and it is used to initialize object properties so inside the constructor function we have already seen that we are declaring the object properties over here so guys let us create the class in this case and once again we will name this class as person but this time we will take the full name and the age of the person inside the constructor so first of all we are going to have the constructor function over here that will help us in order to initialize the properties of the object and we will have the full name as the first value and the age as the second value now guys inside the constructor we are going to use the this keyword followed by dot and then we have the full name property it is equal to the value of the full name and then once again we are going to have another property that is age it is equal to the value of the age over here so guys in this way we are able to assign the values of full name and age to the object properties this time apart from this we want to display the name and the age of the person so simply we are going to have another function that is display over here it is going to simply return the statement so over here we will say return and then we will say person name is followed by dollar symbol and then inside the open and close curly braces we are going to use the this keyword followed by dot and then we will say full name over here and then we will say and age is and then we need to again use the dollar symbol and inside the open and close curly braces simply we have to provide this dot age over here and then after this we will say years in this case so guys basically person name is followed by the full name and age is whatever age that we provide during the initialization of the object and then we have years so guys in this way simply we can call the display function as well in order to read the properties of the object that we are going to initialize now so guys over here outside of the class declaration simply we are going to create the object that is person one over here it is equal to we use the new operator followed by the person class name and this time simply we are going to provide the full name that is john doe and then let us say the age of the person is 22 years old so basically we have provided the full name and the age of the person after this simply we are going to have console.log statement and we will use this particular object that is person one over here followed by dot and this time we are going to use the display method in order to get this particular statement that is included inside the class declaration so guys over here we provide the display function followed by the open and close parenthesis let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so as you can see person name is john doe and age is 22 years old so guys in this way simply we have created the new object by using the class that is person instead of having the function and this class declaration was introduced in es6 over here in 2015 after which we can use this particular template in order to create new objects based on our project requirements apart from this if we change the name and the age of the person so let us say we provide smith peter as the name 
and let us say the age is 25 years so when we run this code once again in this case so person name is smith peter and age is 25 years now guys what exactly is happening over here is when we are running this line of code that is person one it is equal to new person and then we are passing these values so basically these values are going to the constructor function over here which is creating the new object along with this initial properties of the object and that is when this particular object is getting created after which we can access it in order to access the method or the different properties of the object let us play around this line of code over here so what if we remove the new operator this time let us see what will be the output can this new object be created without the new operator so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so as you can see we are getting the error it says class constructor person cannot be invoked without new so guys it is important that we have the new operator over here while creating the objects by using the class declaration in this case so as you can see now we are getting the proper output so this is the way we can declare the classes and initialize the objects and use the objects along with their methods in order to complete the task based on the project requirements guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well i'll see you in the next video in which we are going to talk about about what is json format in javascript so stay tuned